The saga of Steven Tyler mirrors an epic ballad with its crescendos of fame and whispered verses of personal strife. Engaging in a battle with addiction and navigating the waters of family revelations, such as the later discovery of his daughter, Liv Tyler, his story reflects the enduring power of the human spirit. Facts First presents how Steven Tyler discovered the truth about his daughter is shocking. Steven and Liv the story of Steven Tyler and Liv Tyler's relationship is one of those Hollywood tales that could be mistaken for fiction. Born Liv Rundgren on July 1, 1977, Liv Tyler grew up believing her father was Todd Rundgren, the rock musician and producer. It wasn't until Liv was about 11 years old that she discovered the truth. Her biological father was actually Steven Tyler, frontman of the iconic rock band Aerosmith. The circumstances surrounding Liv's paternity were kept secret for much of her early life. Bibi Buell, Liv's mother, was a model and singer who had a relationship with Steven Tyler in the 70s. But during Liv's early years, Buell and Rundgren were romantically involved, and Rundgren played the role of Liv's father. Buell kept the truth about Liv's paternity from both Liv and Steven Tyler to protect her daughter and to avoid public scrutiny. Despite not knowing the truth about his paternity, Stephen maintained a close relationship with Liv throughout her childhood. He was a frequent presence in her life, often visiting and providing support, though Liv was unaware of their true biological connection. It wasn't until Liv met Stephen Tyler backstage at an Aerosmith concert in Portland, Maine, that the truth began to emerge. Liv noticed a resemblance between herself and Stephen's other daughter, Mia, and asked her mother about it. Buell then decided it was time to reveal the truth to Liv. Initially shocked by the revelation, Liv eventually embraced her relationship with Steven Tyler. Despite the unconventional circumstances of their family history, Liv and Steven developed a strong bond and have since become very close. Liv's Life and Career Liv's modeling career began at a young age, and she quickly rose to prominence in the fashion world. Her striking looks and natural charisma caught the attention of photographers and designers, leading to a successful modeling career in her teen years. But it was her transition to acting that solidified her place in the spotlight. Liv made her film debut in the 1994 film Silent Fall, but it was her breakthrough role as the enigmatic and ethereal Arwen in Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy that catapulted her to international fame. Following her success in The Lord of the Rings, she continued to build an impressive filmography, starring in a wide range of roles that showed off her talent. From romantic dramas like Stealing Beauty and One Night at McCool's to action-packed blockbusters like Armageddon and The Incredible Hulk, her ability to inhabit diverse characters endeared her to audiences around the world. She ventured into television starring in the acclaimed series The Leftovers, further solidifying her reputation. She's made notable and significant contributions to various charitable causes and humanitarian efforts. She's been involved with organizations like UNICEF and the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, using her platform to raise awareness and support for important issues. Liv has also embraced motherhood, raising her children with love and devotion, while continuing to pursue her passion for acting in philanthropy. Stephen's Other Children Stephen has three other children besides Liv Tyler, Mia Tyler, Chelsea Tyler, and Taj Monroe Tallarico. Each of them has pursued their own path in life. Mia, born Mia Abigail Tallarico on December 22, 1978, followed in her father's footsteps in entertainment. She began her career as a plus-size model, challenging conventional beauty standards and advocating for body positivity. Mia's modeling career saw her featured in magazines like Seventeen and Vogue, as well as on runways around the world. In addition to her work in the fashion industry, Mia has dabbled in acting, appearing in films like Rush Hour 3 and reality TV shows like Celebrity Fit Club. She also ventured into writing, penning a memoir called Creating Myself, in which she candidly discusses her struggles with body image and self-esteem. Chelsea Tyler, born Chelsea Anna Tallarico on March 6, 1989, has made a name for herself as a talented musician and singer-songwriter. Growing up in a household filled with music, Chelsea was exposed to a wide range of genres and styles early on. She honed her musical skills and eventually formed the band Kane Holler with her husband John Foster. 
Kane Holler's music blends elements of electronic, pop, and rock, showcasing Chelsea's powerful vocals and dynamic stage presence. The band has released several EPs and albums, earning praise for their innovative sound and captivating performances. Taj Monroe Tallarico, born January 31, 1991, is the youngest of Steven Tyler's children and has followed a different path from his siblings. While Taj has occasionally dabbled in music, he's primarily focused on pursuing his passion for real estate and entrepreneurship. Taj has carved out a successful career as a real estate developer with a particular interest in sustainable and eco-friendly projects. He also has demonstrated his entrepreneurial spirit by launching his own clothing line, combining his love for fashion with his commitment to environmental conservation. Despite pursuing diverse interests and careers, Steven Tyler's children share a common thread of creativity, ambition, and resilience. Steven has faced well-documented struggles with addiction throughout his life. His addiction issues began in the 70s when Aerosmith skyrocketed to fame with hit albums like Toys in the Attic and Rocks. He developed a reputation for indulging in a hedonistic lifestyle fueled by cocaine, heroin, and alcohol. Throughout the 80s and 90s, his struggles with addiction reached a fever pitch, with his substance abuse threatening his health and his career. Aerosmith's output during this period was inconsistent, marked by periods of creative brilliance interspersed with long stretches of inactivity and turmoil. Tyler's erratic behavior, fueled by drugs and alcohol, strained his relationships with bandmates, friends, and family members. In 1986, he hit rock bottom when he collapsed on stage during a concert in Springfield, Illinois, due to a drug overdose. He entered rehab and began the arduous process of confronting his demons and rebuilding his life from the ground up. His path was fraught with setbacks and relapses, but he remained committed to his recovery. In the years since achieving sobriety, Tyler has been a vocal supporter of addiction awareness and recovery. In 2023, he faced a significant health scare when he suffered a larynx fracture. The incident happened during a performance with Aerosmith. A larynx fracture is also known as a broken voice box. It's a rare and serious injury that can have severe consequences for a singer's ability to perform. A fracture to this delicate structure can cause excruciating pain, difficulty breathing, and in severe cases, permanent damage to the voice. The road to recovery was long and challenging, requiring Tyler to rest his voice and avoid strenuous activities that could exacerbate the injury. He worked closely with vocal coaches and medical professionals to rehabilitate his voice and regain the strength and flexibility needed. He's getting closer to a full recovery, though. At a recent charity event, he said, quote, My throat's been better, but is on the mend. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about the crazy story of Stephen and Liv? Let us know in the comments section below.